welcome back. I'm Dr. Abstract. Hey, let's code with Zim. So today we're going to make a new tile. And we will dot center that on the stage. We don't have to center everything all the time, but it just makes it a little bit easier for now. All right, there's a tile. And if we set that to dot drag, dot drag like so, then we can pick up the parts and drag them. Oh, but you can't quite tell if they're coming up on top. Let's, let's tile a new rectangle. A uh, new rectangle, rectangle, and we'll make it say 50 by 50. We can tile a purple color and a yellow border. Okay, yellow. And how wide will that yellow? Five. Okay, so a yellow five border. Um, not only that, though, we end up tiling uh, the rows and columns. So we could go four or 40 <laughs> by four. We're sort of wrapping here, aren't we? Hang on, let's try and bring that down out of space. Uh, what happened there? Four by four. And what else um, shall we do? Four by four. Oh, then uh, the spacing. So 20, 20, I guess. Yeah, that looks all right. And it'll all fit on one line. What do you know? Okay, so we save that up. So what we have is a four by four tile with spacing of 20 and 20. That might look better on dark. Let's try it on dark. So frame.color is equal to black, like that. Uh, these days, if you're coding in Zim without the editor here, you would use the letter F for frame. Uh, and that also works, but I'll keep it the word frame in the editor here. It's fine like that. All right, uh, great. What if we wanted random colors? Oh, now if we can drag this too and look, hey, it comes up on top. So whatever we pick up uh, comes up on top, which is handy. Uh, if we wanted random colors, we could say add some. We could add orange and gray. And what other colors might we add? We've already got yellow, uh, red. Okay. Oh, and there, look, it makes a bunch of random colors. That Almost look like my shirt. <laughs> so if you want a series though, so now it's random colors every time we test and because we passed in an array and Zim will pick from that array randomly. But if we want a series, then we can go series like this. And instead of square brackets, we put round brackets. So Zim's got this thing called a series. Um, and now they're in order. Look at that. It's even more like my shirt. Yeah, except Actually, my shirt is more horizontal, so these ones have vertical. But with the series, you can also say dot every, <laughs> if I can figure out where I'm typing, every four. Yeah, would that work? Okay. Yeah, it did. So what the series is doing is it's going four oranges, then four grays, then four reds, then four purples. Isn't that amazing? So these dynamic parameters uh, are called Zim V values because they were invented in Zim V, which is the fifth version of Zim. They're very powerful. Uh, for instance, if you have that emitter and you were emitting something, if you pass in an array of things, it will randomly pick from them. Uh, if you pass in uh, this thing called a function, it will it will emit the results of a function. So you can make a snowflake function, etc. So uh, there's all sorts of exciting things. You may have heard of an interval that's every amount of time it will run. Often we maybe throw flowers every second, but if it's a game, we may not want them every second. So with the Zim V values, you can pass in a min and a max range. And that way it changes time as it does the interval. Zim V values. Woohoo! Okay, if you want to try this out yourself, come to zimjs.com slash teaser. Aha! Cheers!